All right, YouTube, tonight we're going to play some Rug Delver. Um, I'm playing a list based off what Daryl Ayers put on his Twitter a little while ago. Changed up a couple of the sideboard cards. that I, I don't really know exactly what's going on there yet. But um, I wanted to try out two Tar Fires in the main deck tonight. I've been having some issues where a lot of my losses have been coming to... Uh, because of like a Gurmag angle, like, or a, uh, or like a resolved, uh, an adapted Terra Man, or just something that's bigger than Tarmogoyf. And I wanted to try out two Tar Fires because they're a really good functional removal spell right now. And it also grows Tarmogoyf to make it larger. Like, there, there used to be a Dismember in the deck, but like, I found that Dismember just. You just end up paying too much life, and it's detrimental. You know, it puts you in bolt reins, or it's a dead card. Ooh. So, we're going to look at the sideboard. I decided to change up some of the the Winter Orbs and try Cinder Vines. I think, I think Cinder Vine is like, <clears throat> it not being an artifact is really important against Grixis Control. And the fact that it can also double as like a Shatter against like the Stoneblade decks. Is nice and Sylvan Library is your grind card. I've got my two board clear removal spells with another static caster. I might have too much removal in my sideboard, you know, like I've got, you know, for kind of like mass removal cards. And I've also got like three shatters. So, you know, I'm still trying to find a balance here of, of what to do. I cut a graveyard piece because I just haven't seen a lot of graveyard decks lately, but, you know. That could easily come back and bite me in the butt. But, uh, you know, it's kind of enough about what's going on. Might as well get in it and jump in. I really like this deck. Um, I don't know if it's better than the blue-red Delver deck. But it's a more, it's a more powerful... Um, it's definitely more powerful. Like, the green cards, like... Tarmogoyf being huge, Hootie Mandrels being huge, the Cinder Vines, the Libraries, like, the Grudge. Like, you just have better cards at the trade of basic lands. So, it's like, is basic lands better? You know, basic lands are very good. Like, I, I was playing the Blue Red Delver deck uh, yesterday. I posted a silent replay of it on YouTube, and... I beat lands in a game where if I'd have been a three-color Delver deck, I wouldn't have had a chance. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to play a Delver deck in Niagara. Uh, this hand is whatever. we got a brainstorm to fix everything. You'll be fine, Johnny. Like, you're playing, you're playing Sneak and Show. You, like, the deck's not super complicated, and you've played it a lot. So, like, you just got to, like... Jump back on the wheel by you. Okay. Probably going to waste my opponent. I actually checked my buy. I have one buy, which I haven't seen, which I haven't had in a while, or I haven't needed in a while. I'm just going to waste my opponent. Um,. Like, they easily could be, like, a Baleful Strix deck, and I would like to at least, you know, try to slow that down a little bit. So I have Live Snacks here. Nice. You have two? Okay, so they're going to fetch, because they know about the old Stifle. They're going to get a Dual Land. Is it Discard Spell? Oh, so we're playing against Storm. Okay. Storm's a tough matchup. Storm's just like Storm's just like low key the best com the best deck in the format, I think. Like Storm's Storm's just so good. I, don't know, I think it's like just far. Like it's probably pretty hard to play, but I I think it's just like far in a way. I think it's better than the Merrill Age decks. 
like if you're just talking about combo decks, you know, it's probably it's better than like um it's better than Sneak and Show. It's better than I guess there's not a lot of good combo decks in Legacy. Like it's it's kind of like Sneak and Show. I guess you could say like the the fast depth decks. Wow, no land. Okay. So now we're gonna brainstorm end of turn. And we're gonna look for like a wasteland, because we can go wasteland. No, it's not bad. So we're gonna end up putting back both of these Tarmogoyfs. And we're gonna play uh, Hootie. And we wanna leave an instant in our graveyard. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm just gonna delve. I'm gonna fetch now so that we can leave an instant in our graveyard to keep Tarmogoyf the same size. Like, we'll likely get an instant, but, but, um, we just want to make sure. Hootie Mandel's being one is nice here. We're just going to daze the crap out of this. You got to snap off your soft counter magic because it doesn't stay live for long. That's nice, too. So now we can play Goyf. <clears throat> if my opponent draws a land, then, like, they get to fetch, which is kind of annoying. I'm just going to daze this. They're short on lands because we've got three, seven. Yeah, I'm just going to daze this because, like, they're looking for mana. And if like if they just kill me through, you know, with like lotus petals and like whatever. How you doing tonight, Lawrence? Your podcast was great. I haven't listened to all of it yet. But I liked it. Alright, I'm just not I'm not gonna show them that. I guess they're gonna go for it anyways here, so. Uh Lawrence was on a podcast. I think it was like dead on board, right? That's what you called it. I'd have to look. I got it on my phone. So I really don't want to have to add to the Stormcat dead format podcast. I can't really do a lot. You know, my opponents, you know, we've sufficiently choked them on mana. There's not too, too much we can do. Even odds, I like strategies, tanning the game. I haven't listened to even odds. I'll check that one out. I listen to a lot of, I, I download a lot of podcasts. And I don't always listen to them, but I've got to like sometimes check out, um, like if they have a cool guest on or it's a cool topic, then I'll always listen. I pretty much always listen to the game podcast, though. Bash Bros is funny. That's good. Yeah, articulating is something that, like, magic players struggle with. So being able to – having just people that can talk intelligently about magic is nice. How's it going, Ryan? The Bash Bros is hilarious because uh, BBD is hilarious. Brian Brown Bruin is my is like my hero. Mm hmm. Yeah, I like the way that Jerry. Uh, I like the way that Jerry thinks about magic, and like. The way, what are they doing here? Are they digging? So we're either dead. Because this, like, we're either dead or we're not. I mean, it's just that easy. <clears throat> I don't remember if they saw this lightning bolt or not. We just started. This is actually the first game. Infernal Tutor. 
Are we cracking? What are we doing? Okay. <clears throat> so we're getting a passing plane. You got it. So I wonder what this gets. Probably like a dark ritual. Oh, we have to be able to make blue mana. Okay. Cabal ritual. That's five, six. Well, I think I'm dead. I think we are dead as a doorknob here. We can't stifle the LED trigger. Oh, I guess we're not dead. No, we are going to be exact dead because we're at 18. Oh, they do need one more mana. They can go tutor. All right. <coughs> yeah. They get a lot of looks at it. Yeah, we're going to be able to stifle the storm trigger, but they've got this thought seize to clear that. This probably means they hit it. Yep. They got it. Concede the game. And that's why this deck is good. All right. So we want these. I like Blasts. I like Surgical. Bluster Storm. We have a lot of cards we potentially want to bring in because we want to have, like, answers to... Uh, <clears throat> to... Um, Empty the Warrens. So, like, we're not realistically going to fit all of these in our deck, but, you know, we can at least try here. Um, we can probably cut most of these. <clears throat> I don't really want to cut anything else, so let's see what we don't want. This is probably overkill. Two of these is probably overkill. But, like, this, this is just better than this. No, we don't want Dead Gone. We want the other one. Rough Tumble. We can shave a Tarmogoy if we've got nine threats. Do you like Staticaster because it pitches to Force of Will? I guess it's not like our mana is going to get harassed, so like we're going to hit three lands. Oh, I forgot about my cage. You're right, Lawrence. I just like completely zoned out on cage. Cage is like way better than surgical. Yeah, I zoned out there. So I want this. No, which one is this? I keep getting my split cards messed up. Okay, so it's like... I definitely know I want this. <clears throat> and then it's like... Let me put these up here. And then it's like, do I want these? <clears throat> and I would probably have to cut like one Tarmogoyf and I can fit one of these in. <clears throat> and I've only got eight threats and they bring in like a Brep Decay. Click on the, on the play. Yeah, I think three sweepers is too much too. But I have too many cards. <clears throat> I have too many cards to like, you know, I can go like this pretty easily. I could cut a land because I'm not going to mess with my mana. 
<clears throat> I think we're going to do this. What do you get here? Just very quick stuff. Shout out. I've been watching all your videos. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, your, your boy Yargle. <clears throat> all right, this is what we want. I think I'm going to get a Valk, even though the Tarmogoyf is green. Like, you know, we might not quite get there, and I would rather cast the Pyroblast, like, right now. This hand's, this hand's what we're looking for. We got a discard spell. Ponder, sure. <clears throat> We don't even need this Tarmogoyf. All right, are we brainstorming? Are we flipping this boy? Probably not. God, we're just that good anyways. <clears throat> so I'm definitely attacking, and I think I'm going to ponder because I get four looks at another. I would like to make another land drop. I get four looks at it. But I could also just wait and brainstorm at the end of the turn. I kind of want to brainstorm at the end of their turn. <coughs> like, Ponder is a very good play right now. But if we miss, we might lose on a little value of this. But they're going to have to deal with this to kill us anyways. Like, this doesn't have to hit a land. So even if we miss, it's not the end of the world. <coughs> so yeah, I'm going to Ponder. Well, that's not a bad draw there. So what am I doing next turn? I probably want to go Wasteland, draw Wasteland, draw Delver, flip Delver to Flusterstorm. I think that's what we're going to look to do here. Like, we miss out on a land drop, but I think setting them back and then having double Force of Will, a Force of Will with double Delver is like what I want to do in my life. <coughs> Catch up my chat. And I think we're going to just free ball it with our Delver. Like, just play another Delver and pass. Then we're just in a pretty decent spot here, regardless. Like, I could hold up, but if you're going to kill me with two lands through. Force of Will, then, like, I think good on you. <clears throat> yeah. And what am I holding up? Like, I, I, like, I could brainstorm into one of my two cards. Could be a land. Okay. Take a force. One land. All right, yes. All right, so our opponent only has one land, which means they have seven spells. And I kind of like just sitting here because for them to go off, they have to take this and they have to take this. So off of one land, they need double discard spell. <clears throat> so we're just going to hold and we're going to brainstorm at the end of my opponent's turn. There you no, my EOT. Good little moto promo, baby. Yep. Just let him take this. <clears throat> Brainstorm. All right, let's put back. I could just put back Tarmogoyf fetch land. Like, we're not going to need Tarmogoyf, but we're not going to need the third land anyways. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> if I put Tarmogoyf... Like, I'm, I guess there's a world where I could want this third land. Like, I could want Pirate... Like, is it Staticaster? I think Tarmogoyf's my worst card. Yeah. <clears throat> 
And then there's no lightning bolts in my deck. So I don't really think there's anything that I want to brainstorm for on my turn. So I think we're just going to wait. <coughs> Why would you fetch now? Why would you fetch on my turn? Because they play instants? That makes sense. That makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, I know I'm going to fetch, so I might as well fetch. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Lawrence. I guess I didn't have to get that green mana also. Because, like, I don't care about Tarmogoyf. So I kind of want to brainstorm to counter this. I do have Cinder Vines, yeah. I think this is worth a brainstorm in response to. Because they would have had to draw a Mana Source. And Daze is just so nice. <clears throat> All right, now I think I'm just going to put back. <clears throat> so it doesn't really matter what I put back. I'm going to keep these three spells. I guess I want to put Hooding Mandrels on top of my deck so that I can play it next turn in case they make a bunch of goblins. But then they're just dead anyways. I think I spell pierce this. Am I going to be able to spell pierce anything else? I could spell pierce like a cabal ritual. If I spell pierce this, because <clears throat> they just have ritual discard, they take my stifle anyways. My gut tells me to spell pierce this. <coughs> yeah, I think I just spell pierce this, and if they have a lotus petal, they have a lotus petal. Okay. Yeah, but the, yeah, I get that, but like. The odds are this wasn't doing anything. If I had, like, two stifles, I would wait. But... So you bring in, like, should this Sylvan Library be my deck play draw? Like... <clears throat> I usually just do library on the play. <clears throat> But was pointing out why. Yeah. Because Tarmogoyf is just like... Tarmogoyf is just medium. Mm -hmm. And you just have to be like hyper disruptive on the draw. But if you have to be hyper disruptive on the draw, getting more cards from library sounds pretty nice. I kind of just want to board the library in. Like, it might not be super correct to, but I kind of just want to do it for science, and, like, if I lose because of it, I lose because of it. Yeah. You just kind of got to hold your balls and play it. The only thing that I would want to cut from my deck would be a land on the draw. With But, like, that's the only thing that I want to cut. Unless I want to cut, like, a static caster. So, I think I'm just going to not do it. But... <clears throat> All right, well, this hand's pretty disruptive. We have a, an out to uh, we have an out to Piff. Like I think we have to keep this hand. We'd like to see a Delver, but there's a Delver on top of our deck. 
We know it. I don't think you can throw this hand back, but if, if I lose, then, like, I lose, you know? Dude, I got sunburn playing basketball today. Right? I'm just going to pass. Look to counter a cantrip, day something, or brainstorm. Yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to blast this. We ain't worried about, we ain't worried about rap. And I'm probably just going to daze this. Though days setting me back kind of sucks, but like my days isn't going to do anything. <clears throat> what are they going to take? They're going to take my stifle probably or my spell snare and just play around this days or this. I think we're just going to be all right with it. They only have four cards. The problem is like, yes, like that is a, that is a super upside of not dazing. All right, well, now we're going to. So now I just want to play my Wasteland and pass, I think. <clears throat> I don't really want to brainstorm, but I do want to brainstorm end of turn. Because I would like to be able to stifle spell snare, you know, do something. Yeah. Uh, yep. Opponent did not play a land or a discard spell. Yikes. <clears throat> I think we're on the, yeah, I think we're definitely on the surgical to shuffle plan. And I think this is what we're doing here. And we're not going to take the cards out of our deck. I think I wouldn't mind drawing any of these cards. We're not going to take it out of our library, are there? Yeah, I'm not proud of this. But this is where we are. All right, well, that worked out. I guess I should leave, definitely should leave this. So what are they? They have one, two, three. So if we have a sorcery, we should leave that. We could hold Surgical Shepherd. No, no. No. I was just doing some counting and making sure. I got, man, did I get sunburned today? Look at that. April 3rd, 2019, the day of the year I got my first sunburned. Sunburn. That's how white I am. So something nice we can do is we can induce a, um, we can like give our days a little more value by like wastelanding a fetch land if we have to. 
The dog is all healed up. He's doing well. He is doing well. He's he's napping somewhere. He just had dinner. He pretty much just naps all the time. He's a big napper. <clears throat> okay. You get to brainstorm. If I play the challenge this weekend, I'll probably just play that list. Whoa. We still got the old nothing from our opponent. All right, that was a not great draw. Is there any reason to play that? I don't think there is. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I'll probably play the Legacy BTQ. I don't think there's any reason to play this land. I could be wrong. So I moved up to a second Spell Snare. And, you know, I haven't been able to counter a cantrip because of that. You talk about you got your arm worked on, right, Zach? You, or you got your sleeve finished up? Oh, your leg. What'd you do? Oh, the sleeve is on your leg. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> that might have been a bait like it would have been really nice to tag a tutor with that but there's you know no guarantee that I do get to that was a nice draw yeah we're yeah I'm gonna play this land because we're moving up here um, you know, I don't really want to talk about, you know, the Therese Nielsen stuff while I'm streaming because it's a subject that might be sensitive to some people that are in the stream and it's sensitive. It's a subject that takes my full attention and we're just not, we're just not going to do that here. But there's no shame and I don't I don't feel like you said you did anything wrong by asking. For sure. We're here for fun time. So my force I'm not I'm not forcing a discard spell. I'm gonna make them have two discard spells because they need another one to get through this. Alternatively, if but if I force a discard spell, then the piff line still gets me. So I believe they know that I have the stifle from an earlier turn, from, from that first duress. That duress would have come on turn two, I think. Which costs wasteland, plays wasteland, scalding tarn. Oh, that's from the earlier game. Okay. I just want to see if they know that I have it. Red Elemental Blast, Burning Catacombs, Duress. They. Okay, so my opponent knows about my Stifle. The Cherry Stout. A Cherry Stout sounds odd. Yeah, they do. All right, we let this go. Let this go. I'm going to force a tutor. 
start petition. They're holding priority. Yep. I would like it if my opponent cracked one of these, cracked one or both of these LEDs. So I would assume that the safest line for my opponent, okay, so they ditched at, they, they cracked. So now we counter this. The safest line for my opponent was to go get Piff. And I think I keep the Stifle. Which card do I keep? Is Days better? It's probably Stifle because they have to deal with Stifle. They can play around days. <clears throat> yeah, days is dead. But my, it might stop my opponent from chaining off a bunch of spells. That should be the, that's actually just game, right? Well, how does this work? Destroy target enchantment. Cinder Vines deals two damage to that permanent's controller. So the permanent will no longer be there. But the Cinder Vines just sits there and wins the game anyways. So the Cinder Vines literally doesn't win right now, but it basically locks it all up. Yeah, I was just making sure that, like, like I was just making sure it wasn't, like, Searing Blaze, where, like, even if the creature gets removed, it still deals the damage. Yes, I get my little mini Eilon. Yeah. All right, we didn't have anything coming. All right, good way to start the stream out. I always feel happy beating Storm. I think Storm is a really, really good deck right now. Uh, I think just period. I think it's just one of the better decks in the format. I think it's it doesn't see as much success because it, it seems very difficult to play, but big fan. They are upgrading my burn deck, please. Yeah, I don't probably they probably aren't worth it in modern. Like you probably just want to not splash green. Storm is the only combo deck that consistently gives me fits. So, like, <clears throat> I think that if Storm if Storm's a deck that can, like, really fight with a Delver deck, and not just, like, blue-red, like, whether I'm Grixis or Rug, like, I, I think that probably means it's a pretty solid deck. <clears throat> oh, we're playing against Pete Ward. I will keep my hand. All right, I am just going to ponder. No, I'm going to hold up. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see my stifle in my hand. Uh, I'm still just going to ponder. This stifle is going to work at some point. I just zoned out and I played my land because I didn't even see this stifle. <clears throat> I have another one, so we're just going to go. Looking for a threat. <laughs> if I get Wastelanded, this is kind of going to feel bad. So maybe I should have forced that through. You'd have pondered on two.
This is the old stifle days here. Well, this sucks. This is the hardest part of this of of this for me is navigating when I'm supposed to play my land and if I'm supposed to play my land. There's a chance that I shouldn't have even played my land there because I could have hit a wasteland and that would have been good. But like the, the the thing is like I don't know that and that that's like the hardest part for me still trying to figure all this out. I want to put I'm going to put brainstorm on the bottom. And then I'm going to put Spell Snare, and then I'm going to get Hooning Mandrels. Because the card that I want the most is Mandrels. And I think I'm going to stuff. I'm going to shuffle the spell. I am going to stifle if I get the opportunity to. So put that second in case of C's. You mean put the brainstorm seconds at? Oh, because now I have to fetch the brainstorm away in order to play my hooting mandrels. But I think I'm playing against Grixis Control. Oh, yeah, you're right. No, yeah, you're right. We're kind of messing this up. It's kind of weird. The card that I wanted to draw turns out to be the card that I didn't want the most because my hand's so good. The Brainstorm is really good. If I don't have it. I can go fetch, fetch, have one mana up. So I think I'm just going to pass. I definitely have not played this game very well. Already, I've already made some mistakes. All right, well, we got to land, which probably means that there's a Jace hanging out there. So I can play the Hooting Mandrels. And then keep a fetch land and brainstorm next turn because I kind of want all of my cards. So I think I think that's what we're gonna do. So I can still like spell pierce a diabolic edict. I can daze a snapcaster diabolic edict. I can daze a jace. Yeah, that makes sense. The Cinder Vines shine against Grixis Control. Yep, nothing we can do about that. I'm going to brainstorm off of my trop. It's not going to matter unless we run into a, a Gurmag Angler. So let's attack first. I have a feeling we're going to have to fight over a Jace here in a little in a second. I know I can shuffle this away. So this goes. And then probably, I can just get rid of the Lightning Bolt. Well, I can put the Lightning Bolt on top, flip, and then look to flip Delver to that. And then probably draw it. My dazes are, I can easily ditch this land. 
I don't have to make a land drop here. Like, what are the odds I'm going to have to spell Pierce and spell Snare in the same turn? Mm hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep as much gas as I can have. And then just play this Delver. And then probably shuffle away the Tarfire. All right, we're going to daze this. No, we can't be getting two for him. Snapcaster Mage. Okay. What are you going to do? You're going to ponder or are you going to cake command? You're going to ponder. Okay. So I think I'm going to keep the Tar Fire because of the Snapcaster Mage. No, I'm not going to because the Hooting Mandrels. Uh, excuse me. Because Hooter. Uh, because Hooter tramples. So we're going to just... No, oh, that makes sense. You're, you're right. You're right. We can get lightning bolted. Yeah. Yo, what... Oh, did I stack these wrong? God damn it. Mother. Ugh. So, no. Fetch. Tail to Runeski. I'll just get another. We're not going to need to cast multiple green sources in a turn. That was a nice draw. Play this. Dude, Phil's thickness will do it to you. You haven't missed him. He's napping. He's napping. It's tough to be him. So I think I'm going to spell pierce this because my opponent can go land Jace and the spell pierce doesn't do anything. The spell pierce is going to do something here. Oh, how's it going, Jay? I'm doing pretty well. I think I'm just gonna daze this. Like this is the this is the path we've chosen here. I should have returned my Valk. Yeah, I should have picked up Valk. What do you got, sir? Snapcaster Fatal Push. Okay. Okay. Jeez. That was a draw. The thick boy himself. Yes. Yep. But I was a dipshit and stacked my lands wrong. Bird is the word. We even got him through that bird. Bolt you before you get blue mana. 
Okay. Okay, so against the old Grixis Control, I have a lot of cards that I like, but I probably can't get them all in here. So I like, I don't like Ancient Grudge. Actually, Ancient Grudge is like low key kind of decent against Baleful Strix, but that's probably not enough to bring it in. Um, probably these Tar Fires can go. I love how if you put pressure on Grixis enough, it just turn daily shop. Yeah. Do they not know that card's unplayable? <sighs> Yeah, Strix is an artifact. I've definitely boarded an Ancient Grudge against Baleful Strix before. <coughs> Got a couple more of these. Do I want all of these coming in? I know I definitely want the enchantments because I can't deal with them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes and no, Lawrence. I don't know. When I when I played I played Grixis for just a little while. Like I'm not a Grixis professional. But I did like my Delver matchup. If I could get my man underneath me. If they had like stifles and they prevented me from getting my man underneath me, then I felt like I couldn't win. I have a lot of cards that I just want to keep here. Like, maybe I can shave one of these because I'm on the draw and it's not going to be as good. I kind of like the Blasts better than the Fluster Storms, especially when we've got Spell Pierce and Spell Snare for... Um, for... We have Spell Pierce and Spell Snare for him. I honestly kind of like, because an often play pattern against Grixis on the draw is that you have to daze a bird on one. Cut the stack with Tarfire. Yo, we're just, we're just, we're cutting it close. I mean, I gotta turn some lights on here. I found the thing, like, like, like Dalloway can't handle the fetch lands. You can't handle the waiting. Gross. I think I've got to keep this hand, but it's gross. Like we can spell Pierce an early cantrip. We can stifle a land. You know, one of these forces is good. Like, I don't really just don't want a mulligan against the him deck if I can get away with it. I'm not proud of this hand. They put a card on the bottom. Okay. All right. Our opponent had the no lander. Sometimes you just get them. What were we drawing? Brainstorm. Nice. I think you keep it. Like, it's not what you like, but I, I don't I don't think you can mulligan that hand. Both teams played hard. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. I hope you're all having a good time here while we play some Rogue Delver. But we also can play like, we can play Cinder Vines or Library on two with Force Backup, which is pretty decent. Because I love me a Sylvan Library. I love me just all, all of those cantrips. I love all of those enchantments against this deck. I need to go grab some water. I'll be right back.
Well, I mean, you don't want to see too, too many forces, but you do, they have must counter things. So, like, the fact that we can potentially play them out of the game while having force plus blue card. All right, we're going to keep this. Like, Bonham Logan. And you can just, we have the option to, like, attack Rixus's mana base. I'm just going to ponder on turn one here. <clears throat> so I don't need to ponder here. Because I'm likely going to brainstorm. So I think we're just going to go Flooded Strand because it's our most innocuous, non-stifle land. Well, I'm looking for a threat, right? Lawrence, like that that's what we're looking for. And if we ponder on one, then we can play Tarmog Wife on two. As opposed to now, if we like brainstorm on the first turn. Yeah, I was coming down to the conclusion of I'm not sure what I want to do this turn. So I think I'm just going to, like, I don't know if I want to ponder or brainstorm. So I think I'm just going to, like, not do either and waste them. And I'm going to do it right now because even if they have their own stifle, we get to stifle their land. Here's a question. My opponent forces, do I force back? I think I get the trop. Ooh. Oh, they had a land. Okay. So we're playing against the Phoenix deck. They named Hooting Mandos. Huh. All right. Good name. Oh, they, I mean, they wish me hello, good luck. So. <clears throat> Yeah, I think we're just going to ponder. Like, we, we're not... I like all my cards. I don't really want to brainstorm. Well, that does it too, so... Well, yeah, I mean, it's strange, but, like, my opponent literally wished me hello and good luck in the chat. You know, I think it's a bad card for them to name. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you're going to take my Brainstorm or my Force of Will? All right, what do we got? Dark Red Buried Alive. Yeah, I mean, Hooting Mandrels does mess with... Like young pyromancer tokens a lot. Takes my brainstorm. Okay. So I'm gonna play out my land here because 
if my opponent does um if my opponent does get a way to flat to play another cabal therapy or flash it back, I want to be able to fling two bolts at my opponent's face. Did you bring the card? I hope to get some easy delver flips. It's a joke that I do not know, but I appear that I would like to know. You got it. All right. Here come your phoenixes. And I don't think I'm lightning bolting anything yet. Just turning them sideways. Did you know about that land on top? Oh, yeah, I did. You're right. All right, going to bolt this. Bolt this. Bolt you. We're losing a little bit of concentration, but it's okay. All right, let's start with an attack, and then I will brainstorm off of a Valk. Supple body. <laughs> All right, let's find a creature to put in play or a wasteland. So let's go like this. Um, we've got one Mandrills and two Bolts. I think Mandrills would be the better play right now. We don't need to look at one new card. Or we can just, we can just play another Delver. It's not going to flip. But I, I guess like a random Daze would be better than this anyways. I'd like to see a Daze, Spell Piercer, or Spell Snare. So we're just going to go any order. All right. And just choke the blue mana. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I guess it's like looking one card down versus being able to shut them off two blue mana. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now we'll just keep this pass. I kind of want to force this because, like, I think I gotta force this. Or at least like daze it to make it so they can't cast three more spells. Cause like they'd have to go land drop into spell. Yeah, but no, we're just gonna counter this. My phone says GG's. I was gonna get there, but. Okay, so against this deck, Bluster Storm, Surgical, and that's pretty much it. Like, Library is interesting because they are like a Dark Confidant, Young Pyromancer, Cabal Therapy deck. So getting resources, get your tickets for the end game, Dylan. What do you mean, Nick? I 
I don't want to call this guy a sniper. You know, like, he did hit, uh, oh, for the Avengers? God, I haven't seen any of the Avengers, and I've, I've wanted to, but I've just been busy. Yeah, the cage comes in, and, like, this is a maybe. The problem is I like all of my cards. Like, I like all the shocks. <coughs> Like, the, the therapy name there did make sense in some ways. Like, if you're trying to therapy the card that beats you, that kind of makes sense. Naming, like, naming a two of is kind of weird, but, but I have to, like, figure out what I'm doing here. True name's probably not that great. It does go over Pyromancer, so, like, maybe that's worth it. Maybe we should, like, think about Pyromancer a little more with how we sideboard. I don't really know how to sideboard against this deck. Like, it's kind of hard. I'm not into all of my stifles, I don't think. Like, I can stifle a bird trigger, but that still is not great. <clears throat> Probably can shave, like, two tar fires. But that's if I want to bring in all of these, which, like, maybe I don't. Like, maybe we only want this on the play. And we can keep a true name in. I want to just I want to bring the Sylvan Library in a little extra tonight, just to try it. Because Sylvan Library is the card that I I put in there with the least confidence. You can main deck library, and I will support that. I think you just got to keep this hand. And then just kind of hope. We have a Wasteland. We have a Delver and a Spell Snare. We have a lot of lands. I think it's just one of those, like, you know, got to hope, hope it works out. All right. We got through the first. <coughs> Excuse me. Yo, dude. I love me a Sylvan Library. I can't tell you how many games... I've, I've only played Delver in one Legacy event. I've only played, like, one serious Legacy event. And it was back in the Death Ray Shaman days. Like, I played Bug Delver. That's a nice draw. And um, absolutely loved Sylvan Library, my main deck of my Tarmer Wife deck. Oh, that's... Not All right, then we'll attack, play Delta, play Cage. Now this game gets a little easier. Yes, it was a it was a very good uh, wedding present, Johnny. I, I appreciate that one a lot. What do we got, opponent? Not in my house. God, Spell Snare is so good. Like, Daryl's original list had a 3-1 Spell Pierce to Spell Snared uh, set. And I have loved having two of these in my deck. Man, I've played so many Legacy events, but I've never registered a Silver Library. It, it's, it's really nice. So all this dust, dust settles, and then we just daze this Pyromancer. Sylvan Library is like, it, you kind of feel like you're getting away with something. 
All right, then we're going to waste the black source, I think. No, we're probably going to waste the red source because they have to deal with two. God damn it. They have to deal with. Uh, they have to get through this Graft Digger's Cage and this um, Surgical to get Phoenixes in play. And I would rather make it so they can't kill my Delver. Yeah, registering Sensei's Divining Top was never a bad thing either. No, you can't draw three. Sylvan Library often reads Pay Life. All right, well, I guess we surgical these young pyromancers. All right, so we're sitting on double arc light phoenix for our opponent. Yo, that could be a problem. Just like the arc light phoenix beatdown could be tough. Isn't Painter and Auto win for most of the format? Nice. All right. Got one of those down. I could see putting a Sylvan Library in my main deck and cutting one of my Fork Bolts or one of my Tar Fires because the biggest reason that I played the Tar Fire is because it's just a functional removal spell that also gets around um that makes Tarmogoyf larger than Gurmag Angler, which is a problem that I've been having. Like Angler just outclasses Tarmogoyf or the Tarmogoyf in this deck. All right. I don't think we're bolting. All right. So that's nice. We get to bolt this Phoenix and hopefully draw another blue card. And then bolt the other Phoenix. All right, well, now I'm just going to bolt my opponent. When DT and Miracle is really popular, they chose Mystic Snake. Okay. That's a nice draw. All right, my opponent said GG's. I mean, they could have snare thopter in block mode, but, you know. But they decided not to. Look at that, we're 3 0. All right. Yeah, I feel like my sideboard, like, I wanted it to respect. I, I really like this sideboard because I think I respect creature decks. With six shocks in my main deck and a dead gone and two rough tumbles. The, I, I don't think I'm respecting Merit Lage decks with this sideboard, which is my big problem. I think he was trolling. Yeah, for sure. All right, keep it. All right, I'm pondering on turn one. You heard it here. Because <sighs> I want a threat. I found a threat. So let's go like this. Don't thought see so they don't thought sees my hooting mandrels. Ooh. 
mom's dead. It's a DNT. My God, dude. If my opponent, like, plays a two drop next turn, I'm going to have a mild sexual experience. This might not be appropriate for Twitch. Okay, thank God. Oh, no, I should have fetched. Damn it. I, I knew that was there, too. I mean, having extra lands against DNT is not that bad. But I should have fetched. No, I guess, like, they can cut us off a land. They can cut us off a color, excuse me. I think I'm going to... So what am I looking for? I'm looking for a hard counter. I'm looking for either more threats or, like, hard counters. Okay. So, I don't really like this Wasteland. And I don't really like this Scalding Tarn. So now I'm going to play Hootie. Oh, you're saying the fetch is better than the bulk because the fetch can be anything. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So we can get hit by a Stoneforge Mystic now, but like... They gotta have it, you know? Yeah, maybe it was loosey goosey to do that. Took sort of fire and ice. They must already have a bunch of equipments in their hand. Right on time. Yeah, I watched some of it. Yeah, I watched some of the Mythic Invitational. I thought it was good. I thought it was really good. Imagine that with best of three in modern. Bang. All right, what do you got? You want to show, show me your Stoneforge Mystic? Or show me your Batter Skull? Okay. You know what would be a sweet draw? A tar fire. That's a better draw. <coughs> TNN is better is a better draw. Uh do I want to trade with this? No, because they can just I don't know, it's really mana inefficient for them to keep bouncing it. Yeah, I should have attacked for four. Well, if I just chill out here, my Hooting Mandrels and Tarmogoyf can gang block this and then get rid of the sword or get rid of this so it slows them down. We're in trouble. That thing flies. Oh my god, how do I win? <laughs> oh 
to Sarah in 2019. Yeah, dude, I'm super dead. I'm dead to them just like moving the batter skull over. Like they don't even like if they don't even have to do anything. All right. Both teams tried hard. Maybe I shouldn't have tapped out to spell pierce that, but like I don't know. All right, so we want all, everything that kills anything. I don't want my spell pierces. And on the play, I don't want all of my forces. Probably want my Sylvan Library also. My spell pierces, my spells, my stifles aren't that good either. So we might end up going something like this. So I was talking with uh, I was talking with Eric, <coughs> and he said he didn't like Cinder Vines, but like I guess I've also got like too many like I have enough cards to bring out. It's the only thing Stifle does is like. It hits like Flicker Wisp, which still isn't even that good, and it can stop Stoneforge Mystic, which can be good. All right, I'm going to board like this. I think that the Force of Wills might be better than the Cinder Vines, but I just want to play with the Cinder Vines. Okay. I just want to play with them. Death and Taxes just plays like a mana denial plan. Tarfire grows our grows our Tarmogoyfs, Kevin. We have problems with Tarmogoyf getting over the top of Gurmag Angler. Everything in this hand's hard to cast. My spells are so good though. Whoa. Alright, heater. I don't even think I want this. But like, I guess I can like play Tarmogoyf on turn two. But <clears throat> like, if my opponent plays a mom, then I'll shuffle it and try to hit, try to spike. I have seven removal spells off the top that would kill mom. Yeah, I'll probably shuffle if they if my opponent plays mom, but I'll probably draw it if they don't. All right, so now we're going to shuffle. Oh, I hit up to whatever. This is the upkeep pauses for. All right, here we go. Oh, man. Man, I am good at this game. All right, get rid of that mom. Tarmac wife, it's so thick. Rip on two. Such a hobby. I am very good. <laughs> Such a hobby. So groovy. I am, I am a lucky individual. I was born on St. Patrick's Day. I'm, I'm just a very lucky individual in general. 
one lucky boy. We have 32 people watching here tonight. I appreciate you all for hanging out. I hope you're all having a good day. It looks like Moto is crashing. Oh, it looks like we might be back. All right, my opponent played another mom. I'm going to fetch in my upkeep because I'm going to play Tarmogoyf. And it's just marginally thins out my deck before I draw. All right, I mean, that's a pretty solid draw. Are we back? I can't tell. I can't tell if we're back. Looks like we're back. I'm going to play my Flooded Strand and attack with my Tarmogoyf. If my opponent ports my Red Source in my upkeep. Probably going to do it anyways because they'll port it inside of combat. Yo, I hate Stoneforge Mystic. It's probably because I play against a lot of decks that just lose to Stoneforge Mystic. Alright, I'm attack with my Tarmor Life. I think I'm gonna get a free four points in here. I think I don't think my opponent should block, yeah. You know what's kind of awkward? Rough Tumble and True Name Nemesis. Like, that's definitely a bit awkward. I lost all my viewers. No. All right. We're going to take about a couple more draw steps here. And then we're going to be dead. Ancient Grudge would be nice. Alia is okay. Literally, I just said Rough Tumble was wicked awkward with Trina Nemesis. Tell me rough. So I'm going to get two creatures out of this deal, but I lose one of mine, so I don't really gain anything. I don't know how right this is to do. It's just like I feel like I've got to get... Like losing my true name is pretty bad. So maybe maybe I should like note to myself that the rough tumble should be like electrify electro should be electro whatever it is. Electricery. Cause now we're only drawing like one more true name. Doesn't really do anything. Just pass.
Yeah, so maybe that's like something like that we should check out. I'd look for a better sweeper. The problem is there's not a lot of red sweepers. Gosh, my opponent's got Sarah Avengers up the wazoo. All right, what does Hooter do for me? Nothing. Kind of want to scoop. But we'll play it a little longer here. We want to keep the tar fire. Yeah, so I think that this card, I don't think we can play this card if we're going to play True Name in the deck. So that's something that, that's the second time that's happened to me today. I played a league off stream. d and the deck. I've never played it now. So I'm just going to attack. And then if my opponent gives it pro green, then we can kill two creatures. then like look to maybe draw lightning bolt or something like that for this other Sarah Avenger. I thought it probably just like shouldn't rock. What's up Philly boy? You guys, I've been graced with the thickness. Okay. Let's just and I'm just dead. You guys want to? Do you guys want to see the thickness while we wait for the next round? So let's put the deck up here. Play a league match. Pity boy. You want to say hi to Twitch chat? Come here, buddy. I don't even know if you can see him. It might be too. It might be too dark over here. Pity boy. Hey boy. Oh, fuck this. Dad, I'm tired. You're just checking out Twitch chat? Scoping them? Just scoping them? Pound it. Good pound. Good oh boy. And that is the thickness. He is the cutest boy. All right. Join match. Hopefully we can get this last one. Pull ourselves out a nice old 4-1. I like me a 4-1. Four ones make the heart go round. Oh, that sucks. This hand is nice. We got ourselves a wasteland and we got ourselves a stifle. It's going to be my last match of the night. Then I'm going to do a little bit of a sideboard. Just think about what I want to do more with my sideboard after. What do you got? You got an island? You got a Delver? No Delver? All right. We're going to get ourselves a non-fetch. Not going to put my forcible on the stack. Billy boy, Billy boy. Billy boy, how are you so cute? Blood stain there. Okay. It smells like the old Grixis control. Let's hope they get cheeky and don't don't crack their fetch land. Oh yeah, it could be storm as well. I never assume a deck is Storm whenever I'm thinking about it. 
And maybe that's just because Storm's not as popular. Oh, that was such a savage beating. Yeah, Island Myers, it's a start that Grixis could have, though. That could be it as well. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Are you telling me? Can you smell a stifle? I'm just not going to brainstorm, I don't think. We're going to play our fetch land and attack. It could be Blue Red Delver. No reason to bullshit. I agree, Lawrence. Clap them yams. We're going yam. Oh my god, please crack that fetch land. I'm going to have to fight the urge to not growl at my opponents if I stifle their lands. You got it. So this makes me think we're playing Storm. This preordain. You just witnessed me getting excited about stifling. That's what you just witnessed. So we're going to do some brainstorming now. That's it. So what are we playing against? I think we're playing against Storm. I think that like a random pre, like I, I don't think Island, Bloodstained Mire, Preordain, I'm not gonna put my opponent on Delver. I think I'm gonna put my opponent on Storm. So we're gonna put back both of these. We're going to play our land, we're going to fetch, and we're going to play Delver. Well, it kind of matters. Like, I wouldn't mind shuffling a force away if I was playing. You know? I could easily shuffle away, like, both of my lands. Yeah, we're definitely up to keep it a brainstorm in here. Dark Ritual. All right, I think we're going to let him have this. Because we have double force. And we have a brainstorm. So like our hand is stacked. So I'm just going to spell snare this. Because anytime we get to convert a spell snare, I'm happy. Dude, I, I almost don't even want to show green, but I don't think that matters, right? If I draw a Tarmogoyf, if I brainstorm into a Tarmogoyf of a Hooting Mandrels, I want to play it because it makes it a clock. Because it makes it a two-turn clock. But if I also find Bolt or Tarfire, I think I'm just going to play the Trot, get the Trot. But, like, I'm not wild about it. Because, like, you know, that's just what we're going to do. We're going to be adults.
Yeah. I agree, but, like, it would be nice. <laughs> We're going to up and keep brainstorm off of this volcanic island. <laughs> All right, what do you got? Is it go time, bud? Oh, I shouldn't say that around Phil. That's what we use to make it happen. Okay, so I just let this go, and then I force the past in flames. I'm not crazy here. No, no, that the G O T I M E is what we say when we're outside. Uh, is what we say when we're outside, and we're trying to like make him go to the bathroom. I think I'm pitching. What am I pitching? Are we just doing force pitch force? I think I'm going to keep my force. What is this brainstorm going to do for me? I guess brainstorm might find like cheap counters, which are also good. Like days is basically counter spell at this point. They basically can't win to do it. Yeah. Okay. So let's get back. We we played against Storm once in this league already. We got. I, let me see if I can remember how we boarded. Whoops. Where'd you go? These left. These left. We boarded in this. No, what else we boarded? We boarded in one. No, we didn't board in all of these. We boarded in this surgical. We were happy with this. Yeah, I wasn't going to upkeep Brainstorm because it didn't change the clock. It was like 6-6 six, six, and they still had one more turn. All right, I'm going to keep. This hand's great. This hand is great. Okay, Landauer. I was just going to go land go, but now I can get my little... My little homie here. I would land ponder. I feel like it's either land Delver or nothing, right? Cowards can't block warriors, all right? A wise man once told me that. All right. Flip to a force. Spell snare. That will do. All right. Let's attack. And we're pondering for land. Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? We can hold up three pieces of interaction. They definitely, I think they should have fetched two. I really don't want to cast my ponder. But then my opponent can just like not do anything. Whatever. We're just going to believe. We're going to believe there's a land. God, I'm so good at this game. But now I just want to draw this Force of Will. But hopefully they don't do anything.
You would put brainstorm on top. This is where I keep messing up. I always feel like I don't have time for all these interactions. No, no shadow tonight. They had the land chilling. Now I wish I had drawn the force of all. Uh, you want to watch some yeah, I just don't really like. I don't like Legacy Shadow. I don't like. I don't like how the cantrips play. I don't like that. Like, you feel like you're you're super beaten up by Plow. Shadow is very very playable. Modern point stretch it. Oh baby. Hey, how's it going, Tommy? Clean socks. I'm going to jam the cinder vines. So my opponent doesn't just kill me. I might rewatch. I think I might rewatch. If I lose this game, I, I might rewatch this game here before we check, turn the stream off to see where I done messed up. Phil, what are you doing? Don't chew on, don't chew on stuff. Chew on your toys. Danger. You went to a one four side events. I can feel it. Uh, yes, over that. It's not good. I do think it's the worst. I do think it's the worst Delver deck. I just don't like how it plays. Like I, th I think that like, I think your cantrips get messed up because of the nature of Death Shadow. And maybe I just played the deck too aggressively and like wasn't used to like playing Death Shadow with Legacy cantrips versus modern cantrips, which are completely different animals. I hated that. I hated how like you just were damned if you do, damned if you don't against Plow. It just was like it just sucks. It's in competition with Blue White Delver deck for the worst one. Okay. Couldn't my opponent have no? One, two, three, four, five, five. We did. Past and flames. And then it's just I'm not I'm not gonna make my opponent go through this. Cause like one, two, yeah, you got an opponent. We are very dead. So maybe I yeah, I'm gonna watch that one again. Alright, we said on the play we wanted a library. So we're gonna put a library in, we're cutting something. I'm gonna cut this rough tumble. We're playing the library. God, we drew the library. All right. Uh, I think I have to bottom this. Because even though this cuts off piff draws, I just need to find threat or cantrips.
Like, sets me back a turn, though, which sucks. You put this on top. All right. Ooh, that's getting wastelanded. Bang. Oh, shit. God damn it. Uh, I should have wastelanded them. I should have wastelanded them. I should have wastelanded them, but I didn't. My finger, my brain wanted to wasteland, but my body didn't. There's a disconnect from here to here. It's because it's it, I'm left-handed. They make me right-handed mouses. That's the only reason. What a short man's mistake. I'm not proud of that play. Tall men click wasteland. Well, that's a nice draw. I'm gonna get the face again. If I if I get to get a if I get to stifle land here, I'm gonna do the face. They didn't do it. Delaware. Fine. Give me an idiot as you free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll. All right. That doesn't count. Days. Nice. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, library would have been nice. So I don't know what to do with this. I don't know if I just want to snap off a cantrip. Like, I probably want to draw a step, hit ponders. Duress feels kind of medium, right? Because our opponent, I think our opponent's short on land, so I kind of want to draw a step and just smack these ponders. There is, yeah. Because there's no sense, like, there's no sense sandbagging it because we can't deal with, we have, like, the piff lines covered. So, like, my opponent's kind of, whatever, they're kind of just squeaming, so I might as well just get this ponder. I'm going to take the ponder. I made an executive decision. I put my foot down. Excuse them a shuffle. Oh, man. I do give them a shuffle off Brainstorm. If 
Could you add one to the storm also? To debate if we wanted to actually take ponders out of their deck. I'm confused. Uh oh. Am I dead? I think I'm dead. Eight, nine. We're dead. Yeah, I definitely understand. Like, I'm so used to. Um, we used to like always in modern, you always want to draw step the surgical, but like, it's not what happened there. So we went three and two. Um, let me go back to this game here. Let me see where I, before we go back to the deck, let me just see where I messed up here. Went three and two, which feels bad for going four one, but let's just. Um, so we want to go here. Okay, so where did I mess up? Where is this ponder? This ponder was on like turn three, I think. Yeah, I'm just used to draw step surgical because that's just what you do in modern. Bro, this just takes me to the next turn, right? Where was the ponder? Was it this turn? It wasn't this turn, it was the turn after. Because we, we got our second land here. No, we did. Because the, the Force of Will, it was Force of Will Brainstorm land here, right? If I remember right. Yeah. Come on, do your thing. Okay, so we can't counter that. We could have, like... We could, if we had drawn Force of Will, we would have forced that. We would have been good. <coughs> right? Because if we'd have forced that, then they go Duress. So they would Duress out their black mana. But that I guess it might have been some Jedi shit in order for me to figure out that I was supposed to force that right there. Okay. Okay. But I don't know if it's even right to do that. So... When I played the deck tonight, these have to go. These rough tumbles have to go because of how they interact with True Name. Um, let's just go land, hold up here. Take it easy, Lawrence. Okay, so these these cards, these two these two here have to be something else. My sideboard is pretty weak to um, my sideboard is pretty weak against merit liege deck merit liege decks. So they'll probably become something else there. Like 
if we get rid of these, they could easily become like quantity zero. If we become like one of these, and then I could play a vapor snag. Um, I like, I like at least 58 of the main cards. These, the tar fires were here to just give me extra removal against like the death and taxes decks and just extra reach burn to be able to like close games out. Um, and also just to be able to make Tarmogoyf larger than Gurmag Angler. Cause this deck struggles a lot with Gurmag Angler. So... But I'm not so sure that I can play all of the. I'm not. I'm not so. I'm not. I'm not sold on them. But I mean, it was nice. We didn't. It didn't come up tonight. But it has been nice when my Tarmog wife has been able to attack through Gurmag Angler and not just get dwarfed. So, you know, that's something. But I really appreciate everybody for hanging out tonight. Um, I'm gonna send you guys over to my friend Drake. So please go over to Drake's channel and, uh, you know, tell him, check his channel out. Say hi for me. I hope everyone has a good rest of their night, and I will see you all next time.